Hooray! It's my birthday! <sighs> made a cake. I made that myself. Look! Made myself a cake! All for me. I only put five candles on it because I thought 33 is going to be a fire hazard. And quite frankly, the last thing I need now is to burn down my flat. So, made myself one. It's good now. Only thing I don't quite know what to do, still, this is my 33rd birthday. And I still don't know what to do when people sing happy birthday to you. Now, granted, that's not going to happen today. But even then, what, what do you do while that's, while that's happening? Do, do you smile? Do, do you look at people? Do you avoid eye contact? Probably. What do you do? I don't know. I don't know. 33 years and I still don't know. Um, I thought I'd share a couple of birthday cards just to sum up this year. Definitely the most rubbish birthday you have ever had. It's true. <laughs> it's true. I like that one. That's good. That's good. From my uh, auntie and uncle. Um, summing up my, uh, my, my brother, my youngest brother, um, for my 33rd birthday this year, I got this card. How cool is that? Now... Not only that, it gets cooler. Look at this on the back. It's only a door hanger. Right? Hero at work for when I'm working. And the one I'm more likely to use. Come on in, I'm just hanging out. Look at that. And you press it out. Hang on. Could have done this beforehand, really, couldn't I? It's exciting for you, though, isn't it? It's exciting. It's exciting seeing a door hanger being popped out. There you go. So I can put this on the door, and then people know they can come and hang out with me. Cool. And then when I am working, ta da! Yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting. Put that by there be using that today that's for sure um my birthday's april fool's day so obviously you've probably figured out by now it's a bit of a weird day isn't it because um on one hand uh, it is genuinely my birthday on another hand the, the other hand it's a day where people like prank each other and stuff um but i haven't had any pranks today um which, which is nice it's the first year, so far anyway, there's plenty of the day still to go, but it's the first year so far that I haven't been pranked because normally um, my kids will, will play some sort of prank. Um, but obviously they're not here this year. Um, like, maybe last year or the year before, my son went, Dad, Dad, there's a leak in the kitchen. I thought, oh, no, leak in the kitchen. That's the last thing I need. I don't want to have a flooded kitchen. So I ran to the kitchen uh, and he'd actually put the, a vegetable on the floor, which was really, really funny. Um, I, that was a couple of years ago, actually, I remember now, because last year what he did was said, um, Dad, smell this. And as I turned around, he <coughs> splatted a load of whipped cream on a tissue into my face because he's hilarious. Uh, so, yeah, so no pranks this year. Um, unless, you know, someone's going to go to the trouble of breaking this curfew and lockdown just to play a prank. Which, to be fair, I would take my hat off to you. is a lot of effort and a lot of risk. But I suspect it probably won't happen. So, my 33rd birthday is the first one where I don't also have to suffer the April Fool's thing. It's good, isn't it? It's good. And I'm not an April Fool, apparently, because I was born after 12 o'clock. Now, I don't know if that's even a thing, right? 
but that's what I was told growing up. Although as a parent, I suspect I was probably only told that because that's what parents do, isn't it? It's, oh, no, no, you're fine. It's not you because you were born after 12 o'clock. Because I was born at 12.38. It feels a bit like the first thing that came into my parents' minds and they just sort of stuck with it. And at 33, I'm still sort of believing it. Who knows? Who knows? So um, I will be mostly doing my normal sort of day today. Um, uh, it's not really anything special going on. It's it's just another day, isn't it? It's just another one in these four walls waiting for visitors or interrogators to come and see me. Who knows? Who knows? Could be today, couldn't it? Today could be the day. Hope you're having a, a lovely day, whatever you're doing. Hope everyone's staying safe, staying well, not getting stressed. And don't forget the phrase that we're all going to be using soon because it's catchy. I've already seen a few people using it today. Yats Imosiwa.